I'm Mores, the creative director of Mores Fashion. Today, we are going to learn how to grab the pattern for men shirts. Men shirts. With this shirt, it is called the basic shirt. It has no opening for the front. Um, we are going to have the opening for the shoulder, either the same or the pattern. But before we start everything, we have to know our measurements. As you can see, we have our cross back 18 inches, chest 40 inches, shirt length 30 inches, hem allowance 3 inches, and side seam allowance 1 inch. So let us get started. First of all, I'll measure my shirt length and right from this line. I will measure 30 inches. Then I will also measure from here another 30 inches. Then I will trace a straight line. So that's my straight line. And as we have this hem allowance 3 inches, I will add my 3 inches here, 3 inches, another 3 inches, then I trace it. Now, I'm going to measure the chest. With the chest, we have 40, so 40, we are going to guide it by 4, you have 10 inches, so 10 inches, I will measure 10 inches on this side, throughout, then at the hem line, another 10 inches, and also in the middle, 10 inches. And I will join the dots to have my straight line here. Now, as I'm having my straight line, I'm going to create the neckline. So, with the neckline, with this chest measurement, I'm using three inches down and two and a half inches for this side so as you can see you just use your chalk or your pen to create this curve sometimes you can use the ambo curve to create it then i will measure my across back across back is 18 so 18 divided by 2 will be 9 inches i will then add my dot here then right from this nine inches i will measure two inches down that's for men two inches down then i trace to get my shoulder line that's my shoulder line from there Throughout this line, these two dots, I'll create a straight line which is going to guide me to create my armhole. Right now, with the across back, uh, I have 18 inches, and this is my shoulder line, my neckline. With my armhole, I'll divide the across back into two, which is nine inches and depending on the measurement you are going to add to the back bodies which will be more than the front bodies you deduct it half of it from the nine inches which is half of the across back and i'm going to add four inches for the back so if we are to you deduct two inches from the nine inches then you measure seven inches with a seven inches, 
Sometimes you can add half an inch if the person is having a big armpit or if the person is not having any big armpit, you can measure the 7 inches. And in between the 7 inches, you measure the center, which is 3 and half. Then you trace, you measure half an inch in. So this is how I'm going to get my armhole. throughout here yeah. then this line will be my chest line so that's my chest line so the chest line you measure one inch then you trace this you measure three quarters or one inch then you trace it on top this way so as you can see this is the line we are using for the armhole I have my half inch in here then the next thing is we are going to shape the shirt for we to shape the shirt right at the armpit or beneath the armhole you measure five inches and with the five inches you can measure half an inch in or three quarters inch in i'm going to measure three quarters inch in then i join from the armhole to this line then directly to my hem line so as you can see I have this shape here yes. the next thing is we are going to have an overlapping side that's the opening for men caftans we do always have an opening right at the hip area in the shirt which is the vent so you measure from the armpit or the armhole beneath the armhole you measure up to 16 inches with the 16 inches then you add the number of inches you want to use I'm going to use one and a half inches so there's one and a half from here one and a half inches here then the same one and a half inches and I join it this way I also join this side so as you can see I have this 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 means the size they are going to overlap each other so I'll create this curve here so that you, whenever you are sewing or you are knitting you will find it easy because of the shape the curve shape having it this way makes it quite difficult for you so now i have the shape this way so this is the actual shape um with the neckline i'm dipping it to create my neckline Neatly. So I have my neckline, I have my shoulder slope line, the armhole is here, my side seam is also here. Remember, there is no allowance being added. So if you are to add your allowances, you can then measure one inch. So this one inch here, then right from here you also measure one inch. So here one inch. At this end, you are not going to measure one inch, just half an inch. Then you measure from here 
one inch so let me join the lines I have this I also have it this also here so you see the shape in there throughout then you shape it down the same one inch half an inch up here up to this one inch then you add one inch to the hem line and you join it together so this my side seam allowance throughout one inch the reason why we deducted half an inch from the armhole is always to prevent folds uh, for the front bodies whenever you sew at the armhole area so that's why we deducted half with the back bodies in our next lesson we are going to create the back bodies we are going to use the front bodies to create the back bodies do not hesitate to ask any question send in your comments like my page on um, instagram at danny morrison Mures, and also on youtube learn sewing with Mures. see you guys soon and enjoy your class. Bye.